The Qinghai Tibet Plateau hosts a magic mountain. Trekking around it on foot is said to rid a person of any illness or even bad luck. Tibetans worship this snowy mountain called Anamachin. Yet this mountain is also a treasure trove. Two Tibetans, this snow mountain possesses a magic power. Anamachin sits on the eastern side of the Qinghai Tibetan Plateau in the Golog Autonomous Prefecture. It has 13 peaks, all above 5,900 meters in height, and is covered with snow. It's a magnificent mountain to behold. An age-old saga says Anamachin, a very powerful god in charge of mountains and rivers, is one of the nine creators of the universe. Each year, huge numbers of people travel long distances to pay their respects to the mountain. On the east side of the mountain, local herdsmen set off to trek around Anamachin. Uh,这位是我叔叔,他转了三十五次,呃,这个三十五次其中是三次是无梯土地,这样去拜的,他这次的话就是转的话就是呃,第三十六次了。啊,这两个小朋友呢?小朋友这是都是第二次转。哦,
There were even toddlers brought along by adults. All were enjoying the serenity and isolation, and all were quite happy. The most demanding way is to fully prostrate oneself face down on the ground every couple of steps. It takes about 50 days to complete the circuit in this way. No matter how they complete the trek, all are earnest in their devotion. As with the generations before them, they experience a time and space transfer between this life, the next, and the previous. Their purpose, to locate an eternal homeland. <laughs> At the foot of the mountain, two youths place a heavy rock on a Tibetan woman's back. Her body is almost double by the heavy weight, yet she began to walk around a stone sutra wall. Each step required all her effort, and heavy breathing was audible from a distance. <laughs> The rock is too heavy to be lifted by just one man. The Tibetan woman's burden shows the depth of her belief. Whether they're a living Buddha, a government official, a soldier, or a civilian, everyone stops for a little water from this spring. The spring has left a trail of red, rust-like spots on the ground. This seems to remind people of the magic effect of this water. To the locals, this water is a cure for many illnesses. Other springs along the route possess magical properties. They are said to differ from one another, though. And this is one of the charms of Anamachin, which attracts numerous believers every year. This mountain is also a guardian god for this area, a god with a 360-member family. His nine wives gave him 18 children. He also has a huge entourage, made up of about 1,500 attendants and guards. <coughs> this is a common scene around the mountain, a group of Tibetans walking around a raised platform in the wilderness on which <coughs> cypress leaves are burned. After they present hadas, the silk scarf symbolizing respect blessings and poor liquor made from highland barley for the god, they begin to trek while spreading fung ma into wind. The worshipping ceremony is in honor of the mountain. <laughs> Around the mountain, there are dozens of worshipping stands. Each has the mountain in view. Tibetans show their deep respect to the snow mountain, hoping to be blessed in return.
In Tibetan, Anamachin means the king of all mountains in the Yellow River Ranges. Anamachin is the source of the Yellow River. The Halong Glacier is on the northeast slope of Anamachin. It's the largest glacier, 7.7 .7 kilometers long to cover 23.5 square kilometers with an 1800 meter difference in height from top to bottom. It resembles thousands of tents put up one next to another. A closer look reveals the glaciers not as white as expected. It has a very thin layer of dust on top. In such a pristine environment, where does this dust come from? The walk to the glacier takes more than an hour. This is the glacier. We have been living for 10 years, at least 10 years ago. You can see it. This is the history of 10 years ago. This is the history of 10 years ago. A closer look at the surface finds small, very fine particles from rocks. Niima explains that some come from the glacier itself, while others are from the weathered mountain nearby. The scenery overwhelmed Tang Dynasty poet Li Bai. His response is summed up in the line, See how the yellow river tumbles down from heaven into the sea. It never returns. These glaciers produce four streams which are the major sources of the Yellow River. It begins as a small trickle into streams and finally to torrents pouring down from the heaven. It's here the massive Yellow River begins its journey across China to the sea. This mountain has another mystery. In the past three decades, mountain climbers from Italy, France, Britain, Japan, the US, and Australia have come to China trying to break records. They've climbed many peaks, including Mount Everest, but not Anamachin. This mountain is rarely conquered. Tengsan 
Anamachin is just 6,282 meters high. It seems, though, incredible the mountain has frustrated so many attempts to reach its peak.作为这个高山来说的话，它也算不上什么高山，但是呢，这个阿尼玛群的山石呢，非常是这个复杂、陡峭，而且这个自然的这种灾害呢比较多，像这个雪崩、呃裂缝、明裂缝、暗裂缝
During the exploration, local Tibetans often pointed out the best places to look. In the beginning, the geologists wouldn't believe them. The mountain holds another mystery. Inside the Anamachan Tibetan Culture Center of the Guru Monastery, there is a sculpture of the Anamachan Mountain God. He is on horseback, holding a treasure vase in his left hand. Research has proved this in many ways. The mountain seems to become even more mysterious. At the gateway to the mountain, Leung Bao and his family have been doing the trek for five days. Near the gateway, they were piling rocks. Other pilgrims hoping to be blessed have left piles of rocks in various sizes. Animachi